So let's start at the beginning, shall we? Okie dokie. Very first card is the death card. There is not um, a whole bunch of folks around it, although the King of Pentacles is here. It can stand for a physical death, but for the most part, it stands for the ending or the completion of something. And, you know, we have to tear down the old buildings to create new buildings. Uh, so that looks like it's furthering on tearing down or releasing um, people, places, things that no longer serve you, Sagittarius. Um, so it does feel like there is an ending coming to either a relationship or behavior, um, but it's right here in the middle of things. So it doesn't look like it's a big surprise to you, but um, yes, there is something ending. Um, it does cross the money card and... Um, this is the Four of Pentacles. So it does feel like you may have retreated a little bit. You may have hibernated a little earlier than winter, um, Sag. But it does look like it's you're taking some time going inside yourself, figuring out what the balance is before you make your next step. This can be an ending of a relationship, an ending of a job, ending a friendship, or something that's long overdue that you knew that was ending. But um, this Four of Pentacles kind of tells me that you're withdrawing a little bit to kind of gather your thoughts, uh, figure things out. And be careful with the Four of Pentacles. It can be retreating and kind of hiding out instead of just going inside intrinsically and checking things out. So um, don't hide from responsibilities or uh, things that you must address they're going to be happening anyway. So just come out of that cave, Sagittarius. Deal with what you have to deal with. Um, it does feel the Two of Cups is here on one side. The Two of Wands. So it feels like finding the balance. Finding the balance between the physical as well as the emotional. So you may be trying to find that balance and being torn in two different directions this month of October. It does feel like it's a continuation of last month's, uh, but it does feel like you are torn between your head and your heart a bit. Um, the death card indicates that there will be a decision being made on that level and that um, so float a little bit. Don't hide away from those uh, decisions that you need to make or the communication that you have to make. This King of Pentacles here, um, you know, he is motion. He is earthly as well. So this may have to do with the physical ending of either a relationship, a job, something that no longer serves you. What is above here? Also a two. So you are surrounded by two. So it's really about finding balance between work and home, between love and have tos, between money and wants. So it looks like everything is being challenged for you and for you to encourage to find your balance because it's finding your balance in love and in emotions. It's finding your balance in money. So you may be regrouping from maybe a little overspending or some kind of surprise expenses you weren't aware of and also the two of wands. So, and that is, it's feeling like being torn between the physical, the emotional and the spiritual. So it does feel like all of these twos here have a play in, in the large picture of things. So it really looks like um, you're investigating, finding your balance. It does feel like you've been out of balance for, for a little bit, either money, emotional or action. Uh, so it does feel like things are coming clearer into focus for you in this month of October, Sagittarius. So don't give up. It looks like it is the main focus with having these many twos here. That really tells me that you're, you're in earnest looking at how to balance life. And to make it a little bit more equitable for you, things feel like it's been out of balance in all three areas. So you may be you know, picking up the slack financially for someone that you're living with and that doesn't work anymore. Um, it could be you're the one that initiates things in your relationship that doesn't work for you anymore. And action, um, doing um, 
putting things, your projects on hold for someone else. So it's really time to recreate that focus back to you, Sagittarius. And no is a very valid uh, sentence. It can be a complete sentence, capital N at the beginning, period at the end of the O. So it's really time to shuffle everybody's stuff out of your awareness and focus on all those projects that you have put off for other people's chaos or needs or whatever, but finding your own balance, mind, body, and spirit. All right, I know that feels like a big task, but just take one thing at a time, Sagittarius, and it won't be so overwhelming. The King of Pentacles is here. Uh, this could be an earth sign that's Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. This does feel like it is a person. It can stand for someone who is noble, someone who does the right thing, someone who is um, physically supportive, emotionally supportive. But the big picture is... Um, finding, hang on, the big picture is finding your balance. Once you find your balance here, you may have to ask for help for some, uh, for someone. And it also feels like there may be a caretaking, uh, a need for a little bit of caretaking on your part. Um, this feels like a necessary thing and it doesn't feel like it's going to get things out of balance that you're just putting back in. So this could be a senior or someone that is ill in your awareness that just needs a little bit of help, but it feels like it is a payback on your your part that this person was there for you. Uh, this could be a spouse, a parent, a grandparent, a, um, a sibling. It does feel like someone that's over 40, um, but it does look like it's time to um, help this person. They're, they're very uh, trustworthy. They're very helpful, uh, but they actually need a little help and may not be reaching out to you. And it does feel like a possible physical illness. Could be an Alzheimer's patient or someone that needs just a little leg up um, and won't ask for help. So if you recognize it, jump right in there and do what you can for the time being. But it does feel like it's kind of a pay back a little bit on um, some effort. So someone may need your help. Here's the two of cups. As we said, this is finding your emotional balance. I am feeling that uh, it's coming more and more into balance, your emotional balance. It does feel like you went through a hard patch maybe a month or two ago. Um, and it does feel like it either affected your stomach, could be your elimination system going too much or not enough. Um, sleep, food, things like this, but it does look like it's centered around your stomach, around your chest area. So it does feel like that's coming more and more into balance, but it took you getting physically uncomfortable to deal with it. So continue with dealing with that emotional balance, speak your words with kindness and love, um, and move some of this energy out that has been sitting in your corner for a little bit too long. It doesn't feel like it's yours to begin with. So, um, what we have here is the Nine of Swords. This feels like you're a little protective um, over yourself. It, it does feel like you've been losing sleep, that you can't turn off that running monologue in your head. Um, but the Nine of Swords, it's, it's kind of like when our fears take over our creature comforts. You know, we're not able to eat, we're not able to sleep well, uh, can't go to the bathroom well, things like that. So it does look like your fears have been pretty heavy for the last couple of months and they're starting starting to lighten up, lighten up a lot. Um, but they were the basis of making all these changes is some of your fears. It looks like you just got sick of being in that fear place and did what you could. The Ace of Swords is here, and usually that's, um, you know, clarity of thought, clarity of words. It's exalted, so someone takes the low road, name calling, rise up above that, and you take the high road. You don't have to match that lower energy, but it does feel very exalted. Um, it feels like there is some absorption of information. So you may be taking a class, going back to school, going to um, some kind of conference or just um, connecting with people to kind of glean some information that you need. But it does look like you're getting some clarity on some things that have been a bit of a mystery over the last month or so. And um, if in 
kind of a, a, a discussion with someone. Make sure that your words and your thoughts are clear um, and that there is no bitingness. Sometimes when the Aces of Swords show up, um, we can yield our words almost like a weapon. Um, so we don't want to do that. Watch your words very carefully with all these planetary stuff coming on. Sometimes we get a little short with people, even though we didn't mean to convey that, um, that tone. So watch your tone. Think of your words before you present them, please, Sagittarius, and it feels like you'll be able to move some of this confusion energy out of the way and get a little clarity on some of the situations that are right in front of you. The Ten of Cups is here. That's a wonderful card. That's jubilation. It's intimacy. It's, you know, it's a reward for having done all these this hard work speaking your truth moving things out you know even cleaning your closet physically but it does feel like this ten of cups is an emotional reward for you um, it does feel like your intimacy your partnership has taken a step in the positive direction uh, for many of you it may be just cleaning up a situation within your current relationship it could be opening your heart and ready to receive and give in a relationship when you hadn't been prior. Or it could mean letting go of a relationship that really wasn't working. This feels more like cleaning up some messes. Cleaning up some messes, whether you did or the other person involved did. Uh, but it does feel like things are a little calmer on the home front now. Things are getting a little bit more organized and in order. And things are calming down in general. Opening up that intimacy. Opening up a little bit more of the carefree than the have to energy. That has been kind of hitting you in the face the last couple of months. All right. The Knight of Cups is the culmination. And you know, night is action. Night is movement. Cups are emotions so is there someone you need to say something to that's in your heart um, do you need to write a letter to your crush this feels like there needs to be some forward motion and some communication in a love situation either for clarity sake or for cleaning things up but it does feel like it's time to make an offering either an offering of love um, or just being open and ready to receive Sagittarius making some small changes to make your love life a little bit more exciting a little bit more communicative or just opening your heart a little farther. Um, the Knight of Cups can be kind of a little overprotective with their feelings. So don't be afraid to take a leap of faith and a chance to speak those words. The Six of Swords is here and it does feel like some decisions have, are kind of lingering in the background. I know once you find this balance, you'll get the clarity to make those decisions. So the Six of Swords just is here kind of to remind us to just float. Float with those decisions for a minute. If something doesn't come into your immediate awareness, it's okay to float. It's okay to cross all your T's, dot all your I's before you make any decisions. Um, so the Six of Swords is just, you know, float a little bit until that clarity comes to you and you have more certainty about the outcome that you want to receive. The Five of Pentacles is here. Fives can be a little tumultuous. Fives can also, you know, be a little bit of a drain on our money. These are money things. So there may be kind of a surprise, um, a surprise bill or something you hadn't planned on that disrupts your financial plan. You may have to reprioritize where money's going for this month because it does look like there's some urgency with a, with a bill or something that was kind of forgotten. Could be like a medical bill or, um, you know, could even be your car registration, something like that, that, that was forgotten. And that, Kind of is knocking on your door. So you may, this month of October, have to reprioritize um, on the money level. So that is your general reading for the month of October, Sagittarius. I'm going to throw a couple of these uh, chakra cards. They're one word cards and they kind of just bring it on home in the most simplest of manners. Okay, let's do that one. Complacency. So it's interesting, it, it landed right on top of the Four of Pentacles, which is kind of the hiding card. So don't hide away from your problems, sweet Sag. Doing nothing is a choice as well. And then, you know, spirit kind of picks it up if you if you don't. And they, they 
push it in your face in front of all the neighbors. So please don't don't uh, lay down and be complacent if you do know you have um, some things coming up that require your energy, your attention, or your money. So please um, take a look at that. Um, no hiding, no hiding, because it only will get worse, Sagittarius. And growth. It's time for you to continue that growth. You've been doing such a great job moving energy out. I know there's a lot to do and you're kind of exhausted and, and, and a little bit finished with, with activities, but it's time to just finish all those, those projects before the winter comes and, um, you know, enjoy yourself a little bit, enjoy yourself, but please don't get into the complacency place because everything will slow down to a stop. And then the reading will be the same next month. If you <laughs> kind of buy into that complacency. So I know that's not your normal bent. Um, so please embrace some of the changes that are happening. Put a little light under your butt and, um, finish those, finish those outward projects so they don't follow you around or revisit.